Hey guys, welcome to today's video. I have in front of me an extraordinarily expensive hair device and I am sure if you have spent any time on social media at all, on Instagram, on YouTube, then you have already seen this because so many people are reviewing this and James actually surprised me with this item. This is not sponsored. I was not gonna buy it even though I was totally mesmerized by the videos online because it looks like straight up witchcraft. Like it looks weird. It's like are they gonna invent a machine to do my makeup for me also? Because like, this is weird. It's this curling device that your hair wraps around, the Dyson Air Wrap Complete. So we are going to fully, fully put this to the test. Ooh, it's heavy. Um, I have not even opened this at all. I wanted to do everything on camera, but I will say this, when I was watching the video, I was just like, I've never wanted a curling iron more in my life. And then I was like, no, 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 no. Because I looked at the price and I'm like, no, no, I don't think I'll use it. And then I really felt that so many people were gonna review it. And then James went ahead and bought it anyway and it showed up and I'm like, well, I guess I'll sit down and try it out in, in front of you guys. So this looks like a weird curling wand of the future. You look like you could do some serious damage with this thing. So um, the Dyson Airwrap Complete is engineered for multiple hair types. Brushes to add body, volume, smooth or control, barrels to curl and wave, style and dry simultaneously. So uh, you have a bunch of different things in here. Oh my gosh, my mom is gonna want this so bad. Okay, this is how my mom does her hair. Do we see this one at the bottom? That's like in my brain how I see my mom doing her hair. She really doesn't blow dry her hair at all. She'll let it like air dry, kind of to the point that it's just like a little bit damp. And then she'll take one of those like Revlon, like and she'll just like wrap a few sections, dry it that way completely. And like, that's how she does her hair. Okay, wow, hello. Ooh. Come to mama. <laughs> oh my God, this thing is freaking heavy, jeez. Ta-da! This is beasty. This is like the most extra curling iron setup I have ever, ever, ever seen. Oh my God, right? Whoa. Oh my gosh, it's out of stock too. Stop it. Everybody's loving this that much. What? 10,000 people have hearted this item. It is $549 plus tax. Wow. Fun story for you guys. I love the Dyson hairdryer so much. Like I love that hairdryer. I feel like I was one of the first to review it. I went and bought it and I got so much crap in the comment section. People were like, oh my God, you are so like not grounded and you are a horrible person because you would buy this. And it was like, it caused a little bit of a thing for a moment. And then so many people learned about the technology and it became a really, you know, hit kind of cult favorite item of so many stylists and everybody started understanding why it was so special and no one had an issue with me having it anymore. And like, I remember even um, Benefit Cosmetics, like they did some special thing where they gave creators a Dyson that was pink and I think I got sent one and I had purchased myself two of them. Well, I am the idiot that was like raving about them so much, like to everyone. Like my sisters would come down and I would give them like a tutorial and I would explain like the suction and why it's good and look how it cools down and it won't torch your hair and it's so good. And then of course, like my sisters are like, I want one and I'm like, take mine, I have extra. And so I did that enough times that, you know, after saying, take mine, I have extra. I one day was like, where's my Dyson? And I'm like looking around in like all my drawers. And I'm like, where's my Dyson? I need my Dyson. I gave every single one away that I owned. So I have not had a Dyson to blow dry my hair in probably a good six months. It's one of those things that I'm like, man, I had so many of them. I have another hair dryer, And it's just kind of like a struggle for me to want to invest in it again, you know? So I haven't, but it's just kind of funny that I like hyped it up so much that I ended up giving them all away. But I'm fine with that. My sisters, they, they deserve that. They deserve that little bit of luxury and they love it. So, okay, so at least I have this. Like, this is kind of fun and cool, right? Oh my God, this is like intense. Now, the thing that I wanna know is like, do you have to use this on wet hair or can you use it on dry? Maybe we should watch a tutorial. Um, okay, so this says, 
damp hair. What? I don't want to be damp hair. Can I please use this on my dry hair? No one knows. Ooh! Oh, oh my God. Oh, I'm Beyonce right now, woo! I bet I could dry puka with this really good, just like with this. Um, for those of you that don't know, I used to groom pets back when I had to make ends meet and work like five different jobs at once. Uh, so yes, I can groom my dog at home and this actually would probably work. Okay, damp hair, damp hair. I need to know. No extreme heat damage. Mm. All right, well, it's kind of frustrating because I can't find a ton of information on it, but you know what? I just want to go ahead and see if what it will do. What? Stop it. It's the future. Oh my God. That is wild. I'm going to go ahead and curl my hair and I do want to see um, if I can get like a nice kind of beachy wave going on in my hair with the device. And then I think I do want to try and dry my hair with it as well. I have the heat cranked up. I have the fan all the way up. And the arrows show you like where it's gonna grab. Can you see? I'm trying. Oops. I don't think you can use very thick sections. We need water. All right, I have a damp section of hair and we're gonna try this out damp. I think I'm gonna have to tomorrow, just like after I shampoo, try this. I don't know why I thought that it would be just a regular curling iron. Ugh. Come on, rest of my hair. Okay, that worked. Wow. Ooh, now I just need to dampen my hair. Okay. You guys, I kind of love and hate this thing all at the same time. It definitely gives you so much volume because it goes so close to your scalp. The thing that I'm having a hard time with is it's very unpredictable. It's hard to just section off one little area and have it not grab other bits of your hair with it. So I feel like where I'm at right now is it's really cool. I need to test this out with the different attachments. I wanna try this right after I shampoo my hair though. Cause I had not looked too much into this. I didn't wanna base my review off of other people's reviews. Um, I tried to not do that as much as possible. So I didn't know that you had to have damp hair. It's news to me. Dude. I did not think that I was gonna do a multi-day test with this, but I am. I am going to see you guys, and it will be tomorrow morning after I wash my hair. I'm gonna give this another go. I have hope for it, but there is definitely a learning curve. I feel like I am pretty advanced with hair products and beauty products in general, and if I'm opening this up and being really overwhelmed and like, how do I do this? Uh, you know, like I think a lot of people would without really having some patience and getting to know the product and understanding how exactly this works. So, I will see you guys tomorrow morning. All right, you guys, here we are day two. I have damp hair this time and I wanted to update you guys. I actually had James try this guy last night because his hair is really thick and I wanted to see if it would flatten it out at all. Um, he 
like wants, like he'll actually kill me for sharing this, but I'm gonna share it anyway. <laughs> he wants to get a Brazilian blowout because his hair is just like so thick. He has the best problem ever with hair in my opinion. I wish I had his hair, but anyway, my point is we tried to like smooth it out with this and it did work. Um, so I do wanna update you guys that this attachment is nice if you have thicker hair. If you wanna straighten and blow dry at the same time, it does a nice job. It's nothing that I would personally reach for a ton, so I'm not even gonna mess around with this. I just wanna get straight to the curling because that's really what I'm all about with this. I'm gonna try the smaller one this time. I tried this guy yesterday and I'm gonna kinda go back and forth and alternate and just see what happens with that. I want this to work for me. I do think the price tag is really insane and I don't think this is gonna be for everyone. I really feel like you can get a nice look done with a curling iron, so don't feel like if you can't get your hands on this that you're missing out and you're not gonna have a great hair day and um, that life sucks. The technology's neat, but it's not like the greatest thing ever. I can already tell you that. Okay, we're going to section off. I should probably turn this off while I'm talking to you guys. I also did a little investigating last night and something that you can do to enhance the curl is hit the cool button. So you can actually take this button all the way up and it will blast your curl with cool air, which will kind of seal everything in and make the hair shiny. And that's really, really nice. So that's a cool feature on this. Um, kind of tedious, but I am gonna do that to show you guys like how to curl it the best. So weird. It gets so close to the root. That's the crazy thing. Okay, so now I'm gonna blast the cool air. Oh. I don't hate you anymore. <laughs> now I'm pissed off at you again, jeez. I'm getting better at it, guys. <laughs> okay, let's see where we're at. Well, that just makes me want to cut my hair, to be honest, right? I like the curls. I'm gonna switch it so that the other side of my hair goes back the other way. She can do a winged eyeliner, but can she curl her hair? Probably not. Why is this side not working as much? Hello? You guys, I am totally confused by this product, okay? I have tried the different attachments. I've tried it with dry hair like an idiot yesterday and that did not work. Tried it with damp hair today and it does work and curl, but the curl falls out really quickly on my long hair and I have tried, you know, upside down, right side up, using the cool feature. I cannot get the curl to stay and work for me. And the other thing that I noticed, and this might just be a learning curve, but for me, I think that I would lose my patience and get super frustrated, is it picks up such big, like, PC parts of your hair. Like if you just section this off and you try to get just this section, because it suctions, it's actually gonna pick up other little bits too and then it kind of gets snagged and you have to pull it out and brush it. And bottom line, this took so much effort and so much time and I don't think that it is something that I will be reaching for over and over and over. I think it did a beautiful job in the front. Like I love, love, love this kind of volume and body that I have on the top layer of my hair, which is a shorter layer, which leads me to believe that if you have shorter hair, you might really love this product. And I do think it's great that it's not as damaging to the hair. The technology is there to provide that. You get that cool blast, which is so great. Adds shine, helps the curl to hold. Um, you have all these different attachments, which on one hand can totally justify the price point of this product. If you're gonna use this as your blow dryer, your flat iron, your curling iron, your round brush, uh, you have a lot going on in this kit. So you do get a lot for your money and the technology is so cutting edge that you're getting that as well. So there's a lot of good here. Now, the bad part of it for me is this is frustrating. I 
felt like I reached a, a point like 40 minutes in where I'm like, I'm not spending the rest of my day doing this. Like there was just so much hair that was not getting curled and it was kind of mixing in as you can see with everything that is curled. And I like really, like do we see like these pieces are like kind of curled? I really took my time here and it's just all fallen out. And this is with taking very small sections because that's another drawback with this product is you can't like take a beefy section of hair, brush it out like you could with a normal flat iron and kind of wrap it like this. It won't let you take that big of a section. So that's a drawback for me as well because when I do use a you know barrel to curl my hair and get those beachy waves, I like them to be chunkier sections. I like it to look very effortless and I like it to be effortless because I like to spend my time on my makeup and not my hair. So for me, this product does not make a lot of sense. Now I'm curious to have my mom try this out because she is the perfect candidate for a product like this. I think that this would be something she would be so excited about and it would really, really work for her. So I can see that this is not a bad product and that it will work for certain hair types, just not mine. I'm curious what you guys have to say about it. If you are interested in trying this, if you're intrigued, if you already have it and love it, because I think it's sold out so many places. Um, but I wanted to give you my full pro and con non-sponsored thoughts on this device right here. I think this is a pass, but also I do have to say hats off to Dyson for really pushing boundaries and like making cool products. But as far as me reaching for this every single day of the week, it's not gonna happen because it just made me angry. And that's not the feeling that I wanna have when curling my hair. All right, I love you guys. If you loved this video, give it a thumbs up. If you are not subscribed, make sure you do that before you leave and ring the bell. You will turn the bell on and then you will be notified of my future uploads and you can come back and hang out with me again. I'm here Monday through Friday at 10 a.m. PST and I sure hope that you do. I'll have better hair next time, I promise. All right, I love you guys so much. I hope you're having a great day, whatever you're doing, and I will see you in my next video. Mwah. All right, it is the world's most expensive setting spray dryer. And now my foundation is perfect. Oh God, I gotta go.